In the distance, six elephants meander amongst the trees. I gaze through binoculars at the small herd as it disappears into the acacia trees. I'm wandering in the footsteps of giants through Laikipia and Samburu counties in Kenya, home to the second largest herd of free-roaming elephants in East Africa. About 6,000 or so animals pushed south since the 1940s because of poaching pressures to the north. I hike with a group of elephant advocates, guided by Samburu warriors, for 100 miles, from just outside the village of Naibor to the Carissia Hills, trundling through a landscape designed by elephants. It's a dynamic place, but it's also unchanging. The people and animals tied to each other and the landscape for generations. Without elephants, this land would look and smell different than it does today. This place, assuming it wasn't overrun with human development, would be a dense mass of trees, with biodiversity reduced to far fewer species of animals, insects, and vegetation. Just one elephant consumes almost 400 pounds of vegetation daily. Trees remove carbon from the atmosphere, so fewer of them might seem like a bad thing for the environment. But actually, diversity is important for life to adapt to changing conditions. What we see today is essentially the world's landscape before most giant herbivores went extinct at the end of the last ice age. It's the landscape that humans evolved and flourished in. Elephants, along with extinct woolly mammoths and mastodons, are proboscideans, an order that evolved about 55 million years ago. When the climate changed 24 million years ago, grasses, once rare, started to spread, and these grass and shrub-eating giants really hit their stride. Proboscideans left their African homeland and redesigned much of the world. An elephant-designed open landscape creates habitat for all sorts of creatures, even the very small, like these indigenous ants that swarm the thorny acacia tree, ready to take on any attackers of their woody home. Domesticated animals, the cattle, camels, and goats, herded by the Samburu people, also benefit from a landscape kept open by hungry elephants. Throughout the eight days we hike, signs of the invisible giants loiter everywhere. An elephant's fibrous balls of dung, almost as big as bowling balls, are also living treasure chests for beetles and amphibians. Weaver birds pluck the fibers from the elephant dung to build nests that hang from the acacias, thorny trees constantly pruned and knocked over by the hulking vegetarians. A hole dug into a dry riverbed by an elephant's trunk provides water to animals as small as butterflies. We see zebras and other smaller ungulates grazing on grasses and shrubs, an ecosystem maintained by elephants. And this elephant-designed world is human-friendly, too. Samburu cut shrubby trees for clubs, called rungas. The club is a handy tool for scaring off lions. A runga is also good for pounding the leaves of the succulent to make rope and thread. Known as elephant's chewing gum, elephants chomp on the leaves for moisture and propagate the plant as they walk through patches, breaking and crushing leaves. A traditional toothbrush made from a tree, Salvadora, thrives on this landscape. And there's elephant pudding that tastes like snap beans, smells like dough, and can be used as note paper in a pinch. All you need is an acacia thorn to scratch down words. Another succulent that thrives thanks to elephants is euphorbia, which the Samburu hollow out to create beehives. A few generations ago, Samburu warriors hunted elephants, not for meat, because that's akin to cannibalism in their culture, but for ivory, used for decorations like necklaces and bracelets. They hunted with spears, the points soaked in a poison made from a plant called desert rose. Today, these young warriors educate others about this place they share with elephants. They help protect their giant neighbors, but they're losing the battle. 
To satisfy the market for ivory, poachers kill over 20,000 African elephants a year. There are only 500,000 of the animals left. If the killing continues, one of the natural world's most important citizens will disappear. Thank you.